Hi everyone, my name is Ashley, your Bioderma Skincare Expert. Welcome to our Minute Skin Coach Session. Today is going to be another amazing session because it is the continuation of our topic, which is the sensitive skin. Now, when you have a sensitive skin, since having a sensitive skin, it's not really something that a skin disease or something, a bad disease that you might have to worry about. It is actually a usually a symptoms of another skin condition. And also you might not even know that you have a sensitive skin until you have some bad reaction about cosmetics, products, or it can be a hard soap, it can be a moisturizer or a makeup. And this condition that cause sensitive skin are actually rarely serious. And you can also usually keep your symptoms under control with a few changes in your skin routine or lifestyle. Now, on my previous video, I spoke a lot about what are the do's and don'ts if you have a sensitive skin. And of course, you are the one who knows what is causing you reaction or irritation. So if you know that you might be um, reacted into some very harsh um, soap uh, cleansers, you might want to avoid that. Or maybe some of you, you have some irritations about fragrance, you must avoid that. And of course, to manage sensitive skin, all you have to do is just go for a minimal active ingredients or minimal skincare products. And if you have a sensitive skin, if you can still remember in my previous video that I covered about what are the do's and don'ts if you have a sensitive skin, and if you only follow these guidelines that I ask you, it's going to help you a lot if you have a sensitive skin. Now, you might be asking what causes sensitive skin. And in today's session, we are going to talk about that, what is causing your sensitive skin, okay? Now, one of the reasons that causes um, sensitive skin is when you have a dry skin, which is number one. Now, when you have a dry skin, the skin becomes dry when it loses too much water and oil. And in my previous video, if you're actually with me, um, I spoke a lot about the difference about dehydrated skin and, uh, of course, dry skin and when you have a dry skin is actually you are losing two important things which is first of all the absence of oil in your skin and also when you're losing too much water in your skin so when your skin is flare up and itching and you have this very uncomfortable feeling what you have to do and what can you do about it is that of course when you have a dry skin and of course you start to have a sensitive skin you have to treat your dry skin by returning the moisture effect. And also you must apply a moisturizer cream or ointment or two times per day in order for you to help to restore the moisture that is preventing your skin from drying out, that is causing you uncomfortable feeling and also that is causing you a sensitive skin. And as I said a while ago, that having a healthy skin, you must have the right amount of water and oil in order for you to keep that moisture balance in your skin. And now when you have a sensitive skin, because of your dryness, which is the main cause why you have a sensitive skin, of course, just imagine your skin, which is a little bit tighter and you're losing all the, the moisture in your skin, your skin start to itch, your skin start to flare, your, st your skin start to peel off. And this is the reason why, why you have a sensitive skin. Now, dry skin can actually happen anywhere in your body, but it is particularly common in the hands, in the feet, arms, and of course, in the lower legs. Now, the second thing that is causing you to have a sensitive skin is having an eczema. Now, when you have an atopic dermatitis, it actually affects your skin, the ability to protect you from any kinds of irritants like the germs in the air or chemicals in your laundry. And you're actually noticing that your skin is more likely to be extra sensitive to any kinds of products that actually other people don't bother about like the soaps and the cosmetics. Now, when you have an eczema, you are actually prone to dryness, itchiness, small bumps, 
red and brown is great patches in your skin, raw or swollen skin. So what can you do when you have an eczema? Sometimes over-the-counter um, medicine like or creams or a moisturizer are actually enough to ease the symptoms but if your symptoms are severe you have to see your doctor now number three that is causing you to have a sensitive skin is having an irritant contact dermatitis now irritant con contact dermatitis is usually red itchy rash that actually develop when the protective layer of your skin is damaged by something it touches now in some cases the rash will actually develop on the area that directly um, touches the irritants so when you have an irritant contact dermatitis the symptoms are actually red itchy dry cracks um, scaly skin bumps and blisters and also which is um, very oozy, uh, oozy and fluid and also there's a cross over it swelling burning tenderness of of the skin these are the symptoms when you have an irritant contact dermatitis now the fourth reason why you're having a sensitive skin is when you have an allergic contact dermatitis so what are the symptoms when you feel like you have something like redness, itchiness, blisters, or sometimes it containing like fluids or bumps or the crust in, in the skin. Now, I just wanted to explain you what allergic contact dermatitis means. It is actually less common form of a contact dermatitis, but it actually occurs when you have an allergic reaction or any kinds of specific sub substance. That's why you have an allergic contact dermatitis that is causing you to have a sensitive skin. Now, most common allergens include soap, lotions, plants, actually, jewelry, fragrance, and cosmetics. Now, the fifth common cause of having a sensitive skin is when you have a rosacea. Now, having a rosacea is actually a very common skin disease and it actually affects only in the face and what are the early signs are when you see that you have some blushing or red flushing in the skin you might actually suffering from rosacea now rosacea is actually very um, challenging because it causes your skin to be more likely to become more extremely sensitive and some products may actually cause immediate burning or stinging so when you have a sensitive skin be mindful about the products that you are going to use be very careful and as much as you could go for something which is very minimal and less alcohol preservatives soaps and fragrance this is how you can avoid um, your skin to flare up especially your face when you are going to avoid this okay now what are the most uh, medication that reduces the redness are some prescription drugs that he's going to give or prescribe by your dermatologist. Now I'm just going to give you also another symptoms when you have a rosacea. It actually includes redness in the face, ears, chest, or of course in the back as a sunburn look. And also you, you might see that you're starting to have some small bumps or pimples. And also, of course, when you have a rosacea, you actually see some visibility of uh, blood vessels in your face. Now, what can you do when you have a rosacea? Actually, having a rosacea is a very, um, you know, special uh, skin disease because you need a long-term maintenance when you have a rosacea. It actually usually involves some prescription medicines or creams that your doctor is going to give you when you see some symptoms like this i highly advise that you see your doctor and seek for medication now the six common causes of sensitive skin is when you have contact urticaria or hives now when you have a contact urticaria or a hives is actually caused by a direct contact with an irritant substance the reaction from the contact urticaria is immediate. So what are the symptoms? 
you might actually having welts, itching, burning, tingling, redness, swelling. Hives can actually be triggered by the skin contact with things like plants, fragrance, raw foods, and any kinds of ingredients that is common in the bath and beauty products. Now, number seven that is causing you to have a sensitive skin is when you have a physical urticaria. Physical urticaria are actually a hives that are caused by exposure to the heat, cold, chemical, plants, or even when you ex exercise. Now, most common symptoms include small hives, hives that are white and pink or red in the center, of course, um, hives that actually surrounded by the area um, red ring on your skin, itching and swelling. So what can you do when you have this? So this condition will probably go away and by its own, of course, but an oral antihistamine will help you to clear it, clear it up faster. Now, when you have a contact urticaria, it actually go by itself within 24 hours. Now, if you see that the rush or the, the um, allergy or the irritations is not going, your doctor may actually prescribe you um, some oral antihistamines or pain reliever or basically a steroid cream. Some of these over-the-counter steroid cream that containing um, hydrocortisone. Now the eight causes of you having a sensitive skin is when you have a photodermatosis. Now when you have a photodermatosis is actually an abnormal skin reaction to the sunlight. Now the ultraviolet rays in sunlight can actually trigger your immune system, causing you to develop rash, blisters, or scaly patches in your skin. So these are the people that no matter how they love the sun, but their skin doesn't like the sun, the sun because the skin can actually get some irritation or allergies or reaction when you go to the sun. So when you have a photodermatosis, it can be actually hard to recognize and it can only be that you have a photodermatosis if you have some of this brush that only appears in part of your body that is actually exposed in the sun. Now when you when you are sensitive to sunlight, all you have to do is whenever you go out in the sun, put some covering and if you could do, you, you can use something, uh, a clothing that is um, UPF and also try to put a sunscreen that it has a high SPF 30, 50, um, it is the best sunscreen protection and also cover your skin when you feel like you are extremely sensitive to sunlight. Now, what can you do when you have a photodermatosis? Now, tell your doctor if you think that you might be overly sensitive to the sunlight. Sometimes it could actually be caused by any kinds of medi uh, medication that you are taking that's why you are overly um, sensitive to the sun or even actually those over-the-counter drugs or supplements that you are taking. So when you know that you have a sensitive, um, you feel like your skin is extremely sensitive when you go out in, in the sun, you can go to your dermatologist and seek help about it. And also ask for, for advice, what can you do about when you have a sensitive skin? And the ninth cause of you having a sensitive skin is when you have a cutaneous mastocytosis. Now, when you have a cutaneous mastocytosis, it's actually a condition which is too many mast cells accumulate in your skin. And mostly these mast cells are part of your immune system, which is actually, it happens that when they sense a threat, they release the chemicals that is causing your skin to swell. Now, other symptoms including a small um, tan or red spots on the body, uh, spots on the arms, legs, neck, stomachs perhaps, and spots that are completely flat and not raised. 
Now, these symptoms are usually won't appear until they triggered by irritating substance like fragrance or lotions. Now, cutaneous mastocytosis actually triggers include change of temperature, certain medications, scratches, or even when you have some emotional stress. Now, the third cause of you having a sensitive skin is when you have an aquagenic pruritus. Now, I'm talking about very rare condition in which any water that touches the skin causes you to itch. Now, aquagenic pruritus is actually, it is very unique because it doesn't cause you any kinds of visible signs like rash or blisters. Instead, you experience some itchiness immediately right after you touch the water. Now, this can be last um, anywhere from a few minutes or even for a few hours. And what can you do if you have an aquagenic pruritus? Aquagenic pruritus, I'm just going to give you an example, is this kind of people, they have some sensitivity in water. That's why they said aquagenic pruritus. Now, what can you do when you have an aquagenic pruritus? Now, aquagenic pruritus can be actually very difficult to treat, but if you think that you have one of these conditions, my best advice for you is talk to your doctor so they can advise you what you have to do. And of course, at the end of the day, your doctor knows the best. And also, it can give you some sort of advice what you can do if you have this kind of sensitivity towards the water. So now you know what causing you to have a sensitive skin. I hope you found this video educational. If you have any question, I appreciate if you can write your comment down below. For now, I'm going to say thank you so much. Goodbye. Have a nice day and see you. Bye.